transformations and congruence, rotations of shapes. So rotating a shape is our last transformation and it's as if you put a pin at a particular point, not necessarily in the shape, although it can be, and as if the shape was attached to that pin and we're rotating it around that pin. So rotation, turning, sorry about my writing today, a shape around a point in a direction. So we'll be rotating our shapes around the origin, which if you remember is the point zero, zero. So a little reminder, that's zero, zero. When we're rotating 180 degrees, we don't need to know if it's uh, anti-clockwise, counterclockwise, or clockwise, because it will end up the same either way. The method, you've got a couple of methods to do it. My preferred method is for each point to look at going straight to the origin, the point of rotation, and then going 180 degrees, Put your protractor, if you need it, on the origin, the point of rotation. 180 degrees around means I'm going to be on this line and exactly the same distance out the other side. Or you can see that 180 degrees just means straight out the other side, same distance. So this is my new point A. So often a rule is easiest for the um, 180 degrees. So from C, that's just a little bit over three centimeters, and out the other side, a little bit over three centimeters, it will end up on a grid line. And then point B, two and a half, oh sorry, two centimeters to the origin, two centimeters out the other side, Check that it looks right, A and B, and C over here, that's new B, and then fill in your shape. And if you look at it, you can see that that's this shape that's been turned around 180 degrees. Sorry about the noise outside. We do also need to be able to rotate a shape 90 degrees. Now counterclockwise, remember, round that way. If we, we're still going around the origin, zero, zero, if a point is on the point of rotation, it won't move. So my new X will be there, so that's nice and easy. Now, same sort of thing. Take your point, I'm gonna start by dealing with Z, to the origin, one and a half centimeters, and now we've got to go 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So that's going to be in this direction here. You can put a little dot up there to guide your ruler if you need to. It was, what was it? One and a half centimeters. So in that direction, up to that dot that I marked, sorry about going a bit crooked, one and a half centimeters. And that's my new Z. Y, 2.3 centimeters, I think, 90 degrees, protractor with the point there, cross on the rotation point in line with the Y, 90 degrees around, my apologies again about the noise outside, and that same distance for Y, 2.3, 1, 2.3, it'll be on a grid line if it was on a grid line, new Y, and X stays where it is, and you can see that we have rotated that shape.